One of the panelists of Afro Connect spoke to Film South Africa about the importance of branding in film and staying true to one's African identity while still competing on a global stage. When it comes to, uh, to, uh, to film and filmmaking or writing or any of those, uh, it's, it's important to remember what those, medium, those mediums uh, do for this media does. Uh, what they do, they're really about uh, us telling our own stories. So if you're going to tell your story, then you need to tell it in a way that affirms who you are and helps engage others and tell others who you are and what makes you different. So you're looking at the African continent, one of the things that we need to be doing a lot more of is to tell stories stories that tell the African story. From a content perspective in, in, in Africa, I think the most important starting point is uh, first you need to understand yourself, you need to love yourself, and you need to tell your story. So, uh, so the reason some of the, we're having a lot of the challenges in Africa is we have not accepted who we are. Uh, we are trying to compete with America and, 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 and Europe on their turfs. We cannot compete with them on their turfs because they can do America better than we can, they can do England better than we can. What we can do different and better than anybody is we can do Africa like nobody else. So for the longest time, as particularly because I'm sure, that I'm sure 95% of us here are, are South Africans in this room. South Africans have got a, uh, obviously an identity crisis. Even like Latin, you might cross, uh, the heart, the essence of film is is use of imagery. So I think what's the, the important thing is the story you're telling. Um, the story you're telling, um, how you're looking to you know, resonate with whoever's viewing it. And, and so it's, it's extremely important to be able to do it in the right way, to do it in a way that reflects who you're speaking to. So for very long, I mean, whether it's this country, whether it's any country in the continent, we've always seen other people's images, like we've always seen what other people's lives look like, um, you know, names, places, etc., etc. Uh, and there's something empowering and there's something inspiring about being able to see yourself reflected. Uh, so, you know, I find, for example, with Nollywood, everybody will focus on technique and shooting quality, etc., etc. But the reason why Nollywood films work and they resonate across the, con the country is because that imagery and the stories and what they're tackling resonates with Africans in general. You know, issues of kind of witchcraft or superstition, etc., etc., something that we all have. But you know, because for so long we never saw ourselves reflected, it's it's always a beautiful thing when you start to see yourself. A film like Tsotsi was a oh, great, it's like of an international standard. Uh, the focus wasn't on the values, the principles, the you know what it was unpacking. Uh, so I do think that South Africa still needs to find that identity of film, but at the same time, it's also understanding why you're creating a film. I think also for a very long time, too many films are preaching. You know, I when I watch a film, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be preached to. I don't want to. I want to be entertained. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I just want to see stuff blown up, um, because what I'm watching is about entertainment in that instance. So it's about understanding the different kind of the different spaces and ensuring that you you understand which space you want to speak to and are therefore creating that what speaks to those those spaces.